happy gardeners. Welcome back to Stinky Ditch Nursery. We got Marla on camera again. Say hello, Marla. Hi. And today I'd like to talk to you about seeds that need UV light to germinate. There are a few of them out there. Snapdragons, some chrysanthemums. Google the seed and, and just sort of say, does it need UV light? If you've got a seed packet, it will generally say it needs UV light to germinate. Now you can do this in a few different ways. You can just put the seed on the surface of the wet compost and push it in and make sure it stays wet. You can um, put um, a bit of cling film over it um, to keep the moisture in there, but I found that you can get mould with that. Or you can cover the seeds with some gritty sand. This will allow the, the light waves to get through the tight, light waves are very, very small. They will get between all the little gaps in the sand if you've only got like sort of a, a quarter of an inch, six mil of sand on top of it. We did this earlier in the year and Marla, show everyone the results. Here we go. Now these are a seed called, uh, it's a crazy daisy, it's a type of chrysanthemum. These are the ones that I covered with compost. I've, I've dug a couple out, but we, we covered these with compost. And these here are the ones that we covered in sand. And as you can see, the germination rate is just, well, there's no comparison, is there really? And through covering them with sand, this will keep the seeds nice and moist. You won't have to worry about them drying out and being open to um, the elements. And I'll show you how to do it now, because you can still do this now. You can still plant seeds. You can plant seeds throughout the year. Um, even though these aren't meant to be planted at the moment, they'll probably be all right. So Marla, if you'd like to spin in, this is what I'm actually planting. That's what these are here. Um, the silly bum crazy daisies, what could be better? Um, these are, I, I don't know what these are. I've copied them down from somewhere. And uh, February to March, August to October, three to four weeks, at that needs light. So we're gonna, even though we're in May at the moment, we're gonna give them a go. Marla, you start spinning, show the people what the seeds look like. I'll stick a few on my hand. There we go, they're like these little pointy things, the seeds, see? So I'm gonna stick some onto this uh, already watered seed tray. I've already watered this, I've got a seed mix in there. Have a look at some of my other videos if you want to know um, what a seed mix looks like. And I'm not too fussed about this, I'm gonna do them in little lines like that sort of, so that we can uh, see what's coming up and what's a weed and what isn't. Once you get used to your uh, things, there we are bit like that so there we go and now I'm going to cover it with some gritty sand now look at the look at the consistency of this sand it's, it's sort of it's not so smooth like bricklayer sand it's it's quite sort of a little bit gritty um, it will keep the moisture in there and um, all I'm gonna do is just sprinkle a bit on top like this there we go that's it a bit more there we are like that spread it out nicely does that look nice and neat Marla? yep, yep. Now, like I said, I've already watered this seed tray, so um, you, you know we, we can leave that in an unheated greenhouse now, and hopefully label it, label it of course, and write on it with a pencil. Look what's happened to my pencil. Marla, spin in. Look, down at the nursery, for some reason with water, my pencil is split apart right down the middle like this, but if I hold it really tight, it still works. Start the raining now. Anyway, I'm gonna stick the label in that. We're gonna put that in the corner of a an unheated greenhouse in a, a little bit of a shady spot. I don't want it completely, you know, full sunlight on it. And hopefully we'll have some germination like this seed tray, rather than like this seed tray in a few weeks. This has been Robbie Phoenix down at Sticky Ditch Nursery, showing you how to get your UV light seeds germinating and going for lovely flowers later in the year.